Hello, so I'd like to introduce you to the JH water accumulator. This is a water accumulator, and this is what's inside a water accumulator. It's a beautiful membrane, um, and when there's no demand for water from the property, mains pressure fed into the bottom of the accumulator, blows this up like a balloon inside, there's air pressure in the top of the accumulator as well, which helps drive water out when demand comes on from the property. <coughs> so this tank is sitting here at the moment with about four bar of mains pressure water in it, waiting for demand from the property to come on and it, uh, for water and then the flow is delivered from the accumulator. So this accumulator is linked up into this unvented hot water cylinder at the moment and will provide flow through the hot water cylinder and through the cold feed pipes uh, to deliver a balanced flow into the property. So if we isolate the accumulator, turn that off with this tap here, so now the flow through the tank is just coming from the mains flow from the unit we're sitting outside through a pipe. Okay. And if we then see what that does to a property with multiple outlets coming on, so if we switch one shower on in a property, that's fine. Switch a second shower on, we get a slight reduction in flow there. Other stuff comes on, like a toilet flush or a washing machine comes on, <coughs> or indeed next door, turn their shower on. This shower stopped completely. So we haven't changed the pressure that's available, it's still four bar of pressure, but the flow available through the mains to this property, to this scenario here is not sufficient to run four appliances. If we then turn the accumulator on, the allow flow to the property to be delivered from the accumulator, we can see what happens. All the appliances are operating at full potential. 